Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, October 1st. Yay, happy October. Uh, I'm Elizabeth, the community manager here at Chaos, and you're here at the weekly Chaos Community Call. We do this every week, same time, same place. So uh, if you're watching the recording, feel free to join us. Um, it is, yeah, 11 a.m. U.S. Central on Tuesdays is when we meet. Um, just so everybody knows, in case you don't know, this is part of the Chaos Code of Conduct. So uh, by being in this meeting, we assume you've read it, agree to it, and will abide by it while you're here. We would really appreciate that. I'm going to share this screen here. There's all the good stuff we have going on. If you haven't added your name yet, I'll put a couple more things there. Tell us what you're using if you if you want to. You don't have to. You don't have to also turn your camera on. We don't care here. We are very, very casual in this meeting anyway. I'm going to open my chat in case I miss anything. And if somebody wants to just kind of keep an eye on newcomers to the call, if they need the minutes, if you can drop them in there, and we usually do that anyway, but yeah. Okay, so let's jump into it. Um, we are actually participating in Hacktoberfest, which might be news to some people. <laughs> um, Hacktoberfest, if you're not familiar, is the uh, month of October, and it's designed to get folks contributing to open source so you can win I don't know what it is this year I haven't looked in the past it's been t-shirts I think that seems expensive I don't know that they're doing that again um, and I think is it still run by DigitalOcean does anybody know I haven't looked at it yeah I don't know I know we get a bunch of typo pull requests during the month <laughs> yeah yeah we do typically <laughs> <laughs> but we do have some of our working groups are making a more concerted effort to um, have like I shouldn't say actual contrib con contributions because a typo fix is an absolutely is a contribution and we do value it, but there are also other ways to participate in Hacktoberfest. Um, so I'm going to let who is on. Uh, do we have any of our technical writers here? Who's here? There's Harmony. Harmony, do you want to just talk a little about what kind of projects you have set up for Hacktoberfest? Hi, everyone. Hi everyone, uh, good day from various time zones. Yeah, so we have uh, something going on with uh, the technical writers focus group. We call it uh, the Docs um, Scavenger, where we create issues and also fix those issues in different projects. So what we're doing now, we're gathering the resources, the projects that we're going to face in this uh, project or this um, session that we're doing amongst the technical writers and we're also seeing the best way to ensure that the newbies that will be coming in from various communities both within chaos and outside chaos would also have a section where they would learn the basic things that they would need to know to partake in this stuff like we would have a one day or a two day workshop program virtually where we would have people teach people how to do things like create issues how to also do a pull request and a couple of other stuff and also give them provide resources on provide resources on what an actual or a proper document would look like within the open source reach and also within this project so these are one of the things that we are putting in uh in preparation and we also have room for partnership we also have room for projects that would want to be looped into our timelines of projects so we already have in our list the badging project we already have the education project where people will be willing to create scripts of various issues we also have uh the afos project and a couple of other stuff so basically in 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 a one-line sentence uh the dog scavenger it's a process where people get to create issues in within existing documents and also gets to fix those issues by creating PRs. Thank Harmony. you. Yeah, thanks for this, Harmony. Is the idea with um so this is as related to Hacktoberfest, is it to be more like deliberate and helping identify where people can contribute? So one of the uh, major problems within non-code contributors is basically knowing what to do and when to do 
and what to do and how to do them. So October 1st is usually like a challenge amongst technical advocates, but we are bringing it down to technical writers because what we do with mostly has to do with writing and documentation. So it's a medium where we, we, we are using this event or a project called Doc Scavenger. So we get different people that are mostly non-code contributors to partake in what documentation feels like. And this would enable people to collaborate with each other, would also force people, because it's a medium of like a challenge or something, would also force people to get to do these things and fix a lot of issues within our repos. And also learn how open source feels like in on regards documentation. So people that haven't created issues would know how to create issues for the first time. People that don't know what pull request is would also know what to know how pull request feels like. Like, and for the community in general, it also brings new contributors into the scope and also existing contributors to know how to contribute through documentation. That sounds amazing. Thanks. That's for really great. great. Yeah, David. Hi. Are um, those, <clears throat> sorry, so. I have just a question. For those folks who um, are interested and, and want to, to do this, is there a particular place to send them or where where do they go um to to participate so the only place that you just need to be in this place is the technical focus group channel or you just join us with other folks globally that would probably be using their social media as a way of keeping track on things so we are going to make it look like a series of tracks where we post our progress publicly and also within the channel. Like I said, we are looking at the first two days when we start officially this October as a medium of a virtual workshop. So it's going to be publicized and people are going to join. We are also reaching out to prospect people that will teach these things virtually so they learn the basics. And we are looking at a 14 days sprint time where we would create issues, fix issues, and do various things that has to do with documentation. So that's why we call it Doc Scavenger. So you go to scout for documents that have issues within different projects or listed projects that we'll be putting out there. Great, thank you. Um, that was that was my question too. Um, I have a, a bunch of students who are. Um, there's a student award uh, for contributing to open source, and they have to demonstrate a pull request um, was accepted. And I'm wondering if this is an opportunity for them. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I still is. don't exactly understand how to like give them a link or something to get them to the right place. So I. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think for the things in chaos that we would be looking for the Hacktoberfest hashtag on issues for any chaos repository. Is that right? I think that's what I we've actually done. Think, yeah. Or is it this chaos Africa tech writers one if they're doing tech writing? It sounded like it was David, like joining that channel that I just put in there. Okay. In the minutes, at least for this one issue, Sean, you could be right, like on the tags. Yeah. If you're, I mean, I guess if a student wants to get a pull request accepted, I would characterize us as a very welcoming and encouraging community for such things. So, so what should I, should I, I should get them to join the chaos Slack as, and become newbies and, and then go from there? Yeah, and then I think, and then join the Chaos Africa Tech Writers. When, uh, Harmony, do you know when the event would run, the one to two day workshop? Harmony, you're muted if you're talking. Sorry, I didn't get up. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Do you know when you're going to run the one to two day workshop? No, we haven't decided. We're talking to a couple of uh, speakers. Okay. But it would People be... that will be willing to present basically touch. 
And so it's it's kind of at that workshop that this that you would talk about like contributing. So I think David, once that workshop is fixed on time, it would probably be inviting him to the workshop. And we, we'll get more info. And I'm guessing in this channel is when like the details of that workshop would kind of be declared, but we could also bring that forward just to this meeting here. Okay, that would be great. Okay. Elizabeth, is that, do you kind of feel that too? Yeah, yeah, I think um, as an aside, because I know there are other groups who are also doing things uh, for Hacktoberfest. And I think Aluchi might be working on a blog post to kind of summarize all of what's going on. Um, so Nicole, you might, if, if you were thinking about that too, because I can read your mind. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, if you were thinking about that you too, can. maybe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> connect with yeah. Luchi and like maybe you all can write it together if you, if that's something you're interested in don't feel obligated to do that but um, that would be super helpful since we do kind of have these different things going on thank you so much harmony for for that that's awesome i'm super excited about it that's fantastic yeah this is something also that um we'd want to promote through social correct yeah okay for sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm fairly certain Aluchi was going to do that with the Chaos Africa, uh, okay. Twitter X, whatever, um, already. But uh, maybe just connect with her. Maybe in that comms channel, we can talk about it too. Of like what we want to do. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. So let's move on to this: uh, the Inclusion Disability Working Group. I'm not sure if anyone's here from that group that wants to talk about what they're working on. I know they're working on stuff as well. Okay, and also the designers have a partnership with Matic going on for some um, graphic work that will help that project, I believe. So, um, and again, okay. these conversations are happening. Oh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about that. So basically the partnership with Matic is in relation to October Fed. So they reached out to us by email that they would want to um, work with Chaos contributors, Chaos Africa contributors, to join their projects for this um, this Hatsuba Fest. So, and we thought about it, and it looks like a good fit. So basically, that was me asking some designers if they were interested in um, working on the design that we'll be putting out on our socials for the partnership. So basically, what they want is so maybe few contributors that are in chaos could work on their project too and basically see how that feels and they would provide like mentorship opportunities and some networking opportunities that was what you mentioned in their email so that's what um the multi partnership is for just to clarify that um, confusion then aside from that i was thinking maybe we could have like a the october first channel then I think we'll be getting a, a large influx of people joining in. So it, it might be a good idea to just have that channel and direct people there. So it's easier than just um, going maybe to the general channel and doing introductions. I don't know what everybody else thinks about it. I do kind of like that better. Um... I don't know that it just feels like it's more central then so anybody who's interested in somebody might want to work on more than one area. So I feel like that might be a good place to just funnel everybody just go into this channel, what does everybody think. I mean, I think we'll be able to support the effort better if there's a single point of contact channel I think it's harder to monitor multiple channels just. Having spent years on the internet, that's my thought. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Create, I can type. Okay, so I will do that. And then we can, from there, point people in different directions if they're interested in certain things. I love it. 
And then Matt, I see you've written here general issues MPRs. I, I like what we've been talking about so far is like specific <laughs> things that are happening. And then I'm guessing that we're just going to have people who participate in the project kind of at large that maybe isn't focused on, say, the design or the technical writer stuff. But I don't know how we want to like receive that. Do we want to use issue tags? Do we want to do we want to try to have groups identify issues? I don't know how well that works. It's such a short time window. Or do we just want to let it play out the way it plays out? Yeah, go ahead, Yiga. Thank you. So hi, everyone. Um, so I was thinking uh, in just response to Matt's question, we could put the, there's an easy way to put the Hacktoberfest label across all the repos that we want people to contribute to just so that they can find it easily i mean across the across github and then um we can also maybe put another label maybe good first issue depending on what the issue is but i think that the easiest way would just be to put the hacktober first label across you know all the repos so and that's very easy. That's super easy. Just on the settings. How do you do that? So like you could just say, I want all issues in the community repository to be Hacktoberfest candidates. Yes. Yeah, so you could, um, so it's in the settings. Um, it's in the settings and you, there's a place where you can edit the labels, individual labels of each repo. Right, but it's just on one page, so you could just go have to buffer, have to buffer, have to buffer in all okay, of the so do one, one still. all of the places. Okay, I could find the link and share. I could quickly find the link and just share with us now. So tag and that you, yeah. I was just gonna say to your point, like if we do that, we will need somebody to keep an eye on that and keep things going and respond and all of that. So it's going to need somebody that has the bandwidth to do that or the capacity to do that. I am not wow. that person. <laughs> so I can just tell you right now, I am not that person. So um, that yeah. Person. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Peculiar, you had your hand up. Oh, I quickly brushed it down, but since you caught me, let me continue say something i what is in regard to what i Yiga was saying the labels can just is uh, labels could not might not be added to all the projects or all the issues but there's some um issues that we want like newcomers or some people to work on during this october so we can select those issues and just uh, add a october level to it just like like other labels in the in projects, just add issues that are with October first. That the ones that those working this period of October first will work on any issue that is not labeled October first, so they will not be able to work on those ones. So it, it's not like in all the projects. So I, I was trying to clarify that. Okay, so I guess, oh, uh, Yiga, you have your hand back up. Yeah, so um, I just wanted to also clarify, I think myself and Pekili are uh, talking about two different things because I just sent the link. It's putting it as a topic in a particular repo, right? So it means that as soon as you do that, for all the issues in that repo, Right. Yes. Yeah, so you can just put it as a topic, you know, on that community. So for all the issues that are in that repo, it means that the community repo is October first accepted, right? And people can just go in there and contribute to any issue that they find, and it's okay, and somebody can merge it, create a PR run, all of that. So I I don't know which way we want to go. To be fair. <laughs> so 
I do like that though. If so, if we could like, even if it was just like in the community repo, and we put Hacktoberfest, like it could say like kind of anything in this repo is a good yeah. for Hacktoberfest. Yes, like, I encourage people just to look at that repo. Is that how it would work? Yes. Yes. Yes, please. So it's it's easier than you know going issue from one issue to the other. That would be a Herculean task. That would be a lot. So yeah. So go back to that settings tab. So if you typed after, so like under Chaos Community where it says Community Mentorship Handbook Chaos, if you typed Hacktoberfest, what happens? Yes, it just and then you put it yes. Yep, and then yes, save it if you have to, or yeah, and then go to that repo. So you have to save it first. I think there's a way down below where you need to save it, and then it automatically um shows. It looks like it's auto save. Okay, so if you okay, so that means when you go to the community repo. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Yes, it's right there. <laughs> so does so it show anyone yeah. um, oh go ahead? Oh I'm it so shows sorry. Up kind of at the, it shows up at that repo level, but that's still yeah. an interesting thought as you know this repo is a good like take a look at this repo. It's really about it's really about search, right? The, the reason we tag a repo is to make it easier for people who are searching to identify a place to look deeper. Yeah. And so like the question would be like, Sean, would you want like Hacktoberfest folks to take a look at the Augur repo and possibly continue? Yeah, I can go I'll go in and tag some things now that September's over and Billy Joe Armstrong's awake again. I will um go tag some things. And for those who kind of are owning other repos, if you want, if you don't have access to this page, I apparently do. So just let me know and I can tag whatever. I don't know if if the community one is one a good one only because sure, our issues are example. I was just Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I get you. you can um, but yeah. We can certainly do that. So somebody just let me know whatever and I will do whatever. You should remove it now. Okay. <laughs> good all right let's go ahead and move on because we have some other things to talk about but thank you everybody for getting this together um hacktoberfest is a great opportunity to bring new folks in um and appreciate all the coordination there so yay you're all awesome and i love you okay so the next uh thing i wanted to bring up is the community survey Woo! Yes, you should absolutely go take this, even if you're brand new to chaos or you have been around for a long time. It doesn't matter. We want to hear your voice. So you can click on this link. It will take you to our Lyme survey. Uh, you can read all about it. It is anonymous. I am the only person that will have access to that data. Uh, it will be completely scrubbed and anonymized before sharing with a, a few other folks, potentially two or three, as we um, analyze what's going on. So yeah, go take it. Uh, it will be open until October 31st, uh, as far as you all know. <laughs> so we'll ah. see how we, we talked last week about maybe extending it a little bit if we need to. So, um, but yes, for now it is October 31st. We will see uh, how we do from that. So take it sooner than later, because we want to hear what you have to say and how your experience is in chaos and how we can be better. Any questions on that? There is also a blog post about it somewhere on our blog, maybe that'd probably be good right. Uh, if you want, it has a little bit more context around uh, what we've done in the past and stuff so just go to our blog there's a, a post here about what we've done in the past and like that so yeah i'll copy this link too in case you want to read that because it's brilliantly written. I'm sure it is. Incredible. 
<laughs> okay, no, no questions about the survey. Also, if you're a, I should say, if you're a working group leader or a team leader somewhere, make sure you uh, spread the word in your groups so people know. Because I cannot be everywhere all the time, so I would appreciate your help. Okay, moving on. Um, new Badger orientation tomorrow. If you are interested in learning about the event, I should say event Badger. This is for our, our DEI event badging program. Um, we do have manual human reviews of these applications. So if you're interested in being one of those badgers, we call them badgers because they're awesome. Uh, just uh, you can show up. You don't have to register anything. You don't have to know anything about chaos. You can just show up. Um, you are under no obligation by showing up. It's just informational and an orientation. So at the end, I'll send you a form. You can decide if you want to join. It's about a 10 to 15 minute uh, commitment maybe once or twice a month. It's not a, 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 it's not super time intensive um, as far as volunteering and contributing go. So uh, Cindy says she enjoyed the first Badger meeting. Thank you, Cindy. I enjoyed it too. Uh, we will record it. So if you miss it, uh, it's okay. You can watch it when you're at a time that's convenient to you anytime. We are taking Badgers at any time. So it's not like a window. It's good, whatever you want. Questions on that? Okie dokie. I put this on here. Uh, I wasn't sure if we wanted to do something coordinated with this. Oh yeah, David, go ahead. Sorry, I had a quick question about that. Um, on the other side of things, if you're gonna host an event, what resources should you go look at? Excellent question. I love it. So you can go over here to uh, you can go to this badging.chaos.community and then you can do apply for a badge, event badging. So I'll just drop this link in there and then it'll just ask you some questions um, about what, you know how you're centering DEI and your event and it's all based on chaos metrics so there should be some resources there for you to read more if you're interested in reading more. Um, we are changing the, this process is pretty clunky right now, and we are in the process of changing that so um, you will have to like after you fill this out for now anyway you'll fill this out if it's in person. And then at the end you'll have to copy and paste some stuff over into github. But yeah that's going to be better, but not quite yet. And so it's really close to being better like it looks really close. To being yeah. Yeah, it'll Maybe be so much easier. It creates an issue for you. <laughs> you don't have to yeah. copy and paste it over. So if it's not something super urgent, um, you might want to wait a week or two. Maybe I'll wait a couple of weeks. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> idea. Though. <laughs> okay, any other questions about uh, badging? I didn't see that we badged 178 events. That's amazing. Yeah, right? Let me move this down. That is really great. We maybe we should do something for like number two hundred. I don't know if if we're that on top of things, but that'd be cool. Amazing. How long should I wait if I want to be number two hundred? <laughs> There's a bunch right now. The yellow does a bunch, so we might get there pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I just put this on here about FOSTEM. I wasn't sure if we wanted to try to do something coordinated, if anybody from Chaos is doing anything, wants help. Like, I don't, I don't know. I just put it on here. See if y'all want to talk about it. If you don't, that's also valid. Uh, but the I, deadline is... I always feel that we fit well with the community dev room, which I have a suspicion will be accepted again. I don't know. It just seems like the talks that we would do already fit well with a dev room that has existed for a long time. Yeah, makes sense. But that's just me. Makes total sense. And I don't understand FOSDEM, so. Nor do I. <laughs> I'm coming to understand it better, but I won't say that I understand it. <laughs> Okay, 
I guess we can go ahead and move on to this. I just want to let folks know we um, mentioned this last week, I think. Yes, we did. If you would like to attend All Things Open, they have been kind enough, kind enough to give us five free tickets and none of them have been claimed yet. So if you would like to go and you would like a free ticket, you can go on Chaos is Dime. And then after we use those five free tickets, you still get a 20% discount. So just reach out to me on Slack, pop me a message. Uh, it is coming up kind of soon. I don't think we'll, I don't know if we'll have a booth there yet, still kind of TBD, um, but I'll be there. And I know some other chaotic will be there. So you can be one of them if you would like. Any questions on that? All right, then we'll move on. And I put this on here too, just because I was curious. So if there is no update, that's also valid. Totally I had, fine. I had sent. We had gotten feedback. Did you? I sent you a message in Slack. Did you you did. Well. Yeah. 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 We all get a lot of those. So basically, <laughs> so we is got, that? We did get. We got. That was the feedback that we got back. And so, um, just I think they wanted a bit more specificity on what the model was for. Um, so like- I guess that my like, question is, what's the next step is taking it back to metrics models and saying- Yeah, what I think okay. I was, that's was gonna be my plan. Is just, I was trying to send it to you and Yahui, I thought Yahui might have some feedback, but it's, I think he's kind of busy right now. Um, okay. Then yeah, I wanna take it back to, um, to metrics model and we can I think we can work on the spec there and then Seth had also shared a couple like specs that had come from open chain which would be good it's good guidance I actually have the full spec so I think we've seen it before but some examples ultimately I think it's like two questions is why do we need this and how what's it gonna do and then Matt do you remember when the next I don't remember the next ISO meeting. No, I don't remember. Okay. For those who aren't familiar with this, we are hoping to make one of our metrics models an ISO standard. Uh, it's a huge, incredibly, incredibly long process. Uh, we're doing this work mostly in the metrics models meeting on the calendar. We also have a separate ISO meeting, um, which is under Chatham House rules. So uh, that's also Place where this work gets done if you're interested in participating in it it is pretty interesting quite honestly but yeah it'll be a long, <laughs> long I, I think it's going to take longer to get done than trying to publish an academic paper so, yeah which <laughs> is We've, an incredibly yeah. long process all into itself <laughs> <clears throat> we might all be retired from chaos that's by the right time. <laughs> <laughs> one done, just be like none. <laughs> That's uh, it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, anything else on this? Thanks for thanks for that, Matt. Okay. Well, let's move on to this. I know it's super important, and um, I just put that there. Yeah, right? David, so people know that we have our first UN. SDG work group meeting, working group meeting tomorrow at uh, 10 o'clock US Central. And hopefully you can join. That's it. Any of those folks want to talk about that? David, or Ruth? Ruth and I met last week. Um, so first time like meeting over Zoom in more in person. Um, she made me jealous. She was on the beach and it looked beautiful. Um, <laughs> but we had a, we had a good discussion. Um, we're excited to welcome people to talk about the scope and, um, and and meet everybody and see who's interested and and start the work. I'll be there. Wonderful. I will be there too. Any questions for Ruth or David on? what this meeting is or how to join any of that. There is also a Slack channel. Uh, I think it's WGUNSDG maybe. 
if you want to join, you can. Yeah, right. that's it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. OK, let's go on to metrics updates. Guessing that was you again, Matt. It was. <clears throat> so I just wanted to let people know that Elizabeth and I met on Thursday. So there have been um, there's been a lot of really great work um, to update the metrics to the new template. And Elizabeth and I just met on Thursday. And we're going to start meeting, I think, every Thursday, unless we can um, for just like an hour to go through the existing pull requests and just kind of go back and forth on feedback for a little bit. So I think it's going to take a little while to um, not only get the initial pull request in, but then any comments back. It did. I just it did turn out that Elizabeth and I are doing some uh, like grammar editing as well, just on the original metric. Sometimes a sentence wasn't very clear or, you know, like one of the list just points. Bump on your PR stats. You know, yeah, that's all we're doing. So so we're we're taking this as an opportunity not just to make sure that it's in the right template, which that all those PRs are doing a wonderful job on that. So um, thanks. But also then making sure that like the language in the document makes sense itself. Because I don't know if you've ever read one of your old papers or read something that you wrote like two years ago. <laughs> and you're like, what was I saying? <laughs> um, so we're running into that a few times and we're just trying to take this as a moment to, to fix some of that. So it's just, it's gonna be a slow process, but we're just gonna stick to it. That's the update. I did merge in the first, the first one. Um, if you all want to see it, I'm very excited about this because yeah, we have sure. our new little drop down. So I'm super stoked about. It was issue able inclusivity. Searching. So it says, want to know more? And then there's data collection and filters. Oh, I see a little typo there. Uh, visualizations, all that stuff. So it's a lot easier to just kind of see it at a glance. And then you can, so it's not quite so It's all on the page without the, like, on. that's really nice. So yeah. People because I mean, that's it. It's just a, a question, an overview of what this metric is about. And that's it. Love it. So do we th do we like this? As a layout structure or headings? Yeah. 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 Which one? Both? Uh, yeah, sure. Maybe we could put a little space in here. Yeah, it feels like it's there. lost. This looks like a lot of information is removed compared to what our ordinary template was. So if you click on click to read, yeah, you just click. Click, it, there it is. Ah, okay. All right. Beautiful. All right. It's just Excellent. It's hidden. That's nice. That, okay. Perfect. Yeah. That was a, maybe I, maybe I would make the text in that um, click to read more a little bit bigger because it didn't immediately jump out at me, but I guess it, maybe it's because I'm dumb. Because it does says does say want to know more and there is a expandable list there so it's I think probably it's yeah, certainly it better than it was. It lost. I think it's lost here. A you know, I think scroll down a little bit. I think maybe some extra less space below the heading it's under and more space above yeah. the heading it's yeah, above. Okay. Yep. Just like a layout thing, I think. That yeah. Banner. That's a nitpicking. It looks is it always yeah, like that? it should go all the way across i was wondering what that was but now i see it okay yeah it should go all the way across i'm not sure why it's not doing that so i will check that okay okay no it looks great i really like that because it just puts the metric <laughs> without overwhelming question and a description Okay, cool.
Awesome possum. So now that we kind of have that set and we know it works, we can start not only merge, you know, going through the PRs, but also starting yep. to merge them as well. Yep. 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 Cool. Yay. Thanks everybody for all this work. It's amazing. Agreed. Agreed. All right. We actually ended up with five extra minutes. Do we need to go back and talk more about Hacktoberfest? Do we need to revisit any of these things? Do we need to talk about anything new? I'm good. General reminders for everybody, just in case you didn't know, there's some stuff there. I'm still working on trying to figure out a way to drop in a tip of the month with these kind of things in there in Slack. Still haven't completely fit, figured it out. I'm part way there. It's harder than it should be, I feel like. Like it should just be a thing you can just do, but apparently it's not. Okay, well, thanks everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And thanks I guess you're all- You too. Good. And are we not um, doing ChaosCon after this today? Uh, there is a project managers meeting uh, in 15 minutes. So maybe oh. we just do it async. Yeah. Cool? Okay. Sounds good. Um, I can okay. stay on. There are a few things that I had, so maybe we could just stay on for a second. Fifteen. I only 15. have that myself because I got a group yeah. of grad students coming in at twelve. Yeah. No problem. Elizabeth, so I, where is uh, where is ChaosCon being um, held? The 